from the indigenous people who inhabited the islands before colonization to the Africans who were brought over as slaves, the Caribbean has been shaped by a variety of influences because of its rich history, culture, and diversity. Today, many people who have heritage connections to the Caribbean have risen to positions of power and influence around the world. In this presentation, we will be exploring some of the most powerful men outside of the Caribbean, but who are of Caribbean heritage. These individuals come from various backgrounds, including politics, entertainment, sports, and business, and have made significant contributions in their respective fields. Despite being born or raised outside of the Caribbean, they have maintained a connection to their ancestral roots, and some have used their platform to shed light on the Caribbean's unique history and culture. Whether it's breaking barriers in their industries or using their influence to advocate for social justice, these powerful individuals serve as role models for the next generation of the Caribbean diaspora. So without further ado, let's explore some of the most influential people with Caribbean heritage who have made an impact on the global stage. To start off our top 10 list is Lester Holt, whose ancestral heritage is via his maternal grandmother, May, who was born in Jamaica but raised in Harlem, New York, where his mother was born. Holt is an American journalist and news anchor who currently serves as the anchor of NBC Nightly News, one of the most widely watched evening news programs in the United States. He was born in Marin County, California in 1959 and began his career in journalism as a reporter and anchor for local news stations in California and New York. Holt joined NBC News in 2000 and has since become one of the most respected and recognizable figures in American journalism. Throughout his career, Holt has covered some of the biggest news stories of our time, including the September 11 terrorist attacks, Hurricane Katrina, and the 2016 presidential election. He has also been a frequent contributor to NBC's coverage of major events, including the Olympics and the presidential debates. In addition to his work as news anchor, Holt has hosted several other programs, including Dateline NBC and the NBC Nightly News Sunday edition. Holt has been recognized for his contributions to journalism, receiving numerous awards and honors, including the Robert F. Kennedy Journalism Award and the Edward R. Morrow Award for his coverage of Hurricane Katrina. He has been an advocate for diversity and inclusion in the media industry, with his dedication to truth, fairness, and impartiality. Holt has become one of the most respected journalists in America today. Next up at number 9, we have an academic leader and physician who is a shining pillar of excellence for black men and women at this historic institution, and his name is Wayne A.I. Frederick. Wayne Frederick is a physician, academic administrator, and the 17th president of Howard University, one of the oldest and most prestigious historically black universities in the United States. He was born in Trinidad and Tobago in 1971 and moved to the United States to pursue his education. Frederick earned his undergraduate degree in biology from Howard University and later earned a medical degree from the University of the West Indies. After completing his medical training, Frederick worked as a surgeon and educator, holding positions at several academic medical centers, including Harvard Medical School and the University of Texas Medical Branch. In 2014, he was appointed president of Howard University, becoming the youngest person ever to hold the position. Under his leadership, Howard University has continued to be a beacon for young black students in America. Switching to American politics and political life, we have one of the most influential politicians and the former head of U.S. legal officers at number 8, Eric Holder. Eric Holder served as the 82nd Attorney General of the United States under President Barack Obama from 2009 to 2015. He was born in the Bronx, New York, but has deep connections to Barbados. Holder's father was born in St. Joseph, Barbados, while his maternal grandparents were also emigrants from Barbados. Holder's career in public service began in 1976 when he joined the Justice Department's Public Integrity Section. He later served as a judge of the Superior Court of the District of Columbia and the U.S. Attorney for the District of Columbia. In 1997, Holder was nominated by President Bill Clinton to serve as the Deputy Attorney General of the United States, the second highest ranking official in the Justice Department. He served in this position until 2001. 
As Attorney General under President Obama, Holder oversaw several high-profile cases, including the prosecution of several terrorism suspects and the implementation of the Affordable Care Act. He also became known for his work on civil rights and voting rights issues, including his opposition to voter ID laws and his support for same-sex marriage. After leaving office, Holder returned to private practice and has remained involved in politics and public service, including serving as the chair of the National Democratic Redistricting Committee. By the way, if you're getting value from this video, we would greatly appreciate it if you would give this video a like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for our future videos. Thank you. Continuing the lines of American politics, we have a controversial politician that is an influential leader within the Republican Party, and his name is Ted Cruz at number 7. Ted Cruz serves as the U.S. Senator from Texas and has done so since 2013. He was born in Calgary, Canada in 1970 to a Cuban father and an American mother. Before entering politics, he worked as an attorney and served as a clerk for Chief Justice William Rehnquist. Cruz first gained national attention in 2012 when he ran for the U.S. Senate seat in Texas and defeated the incumbent Lieutenant Governor David Dewhurst in the Republican primary. He went on to win the general election and has since become known as a staunch conservative and a leading voice in the Republican Party. Cruz has been a vocal advocate for limited government, fiscal conservatism, and a strict interpretation of the U.S. Constitution. Throughout his political career, Cruz has been involved in several high-profile controversies, but despite his controversial positions and actions, Cruz remains a prominent figure in American politics and a key player in the conservative movement. At our number six spot, we highlight another American politician with Cuban-Caribbean roots, Marco Rubio. Rubio is an attorney who currently serves as the senior United States Senator from Florida. He was born in Miami, Florida to Cuban parents who immigrated to the United States in 1956 during the regime of Fulgencio Batista, two and a half years before Fidel Castro ascended to power after the Cuban Revolution. Rubio began his political career in 2000 when he was elected to the Florida House of Representatives. He later served as Speaker of the House before being elected to the U.S. Senate in 2010. In the Senate, Rubio has been a leading voice on issues related to national security, foreign policy, and immigration. He has also been a strong supporter of conservative economic policies, including tax cuts and deregulation. Throughout his career, Rubio has been a prominent figure in the Republican Party and has been considered a rising star in conservative politics. He ran for the Republican nomination for president in 2016, but ultimately lost to Donald Trump. But with his extensive experience in government and his young age, chances are we are likely to see Rubio continue to wield influence in American politics for years to come. Switching gears for our number five place, we come to a person who has dominated his sport for more than a decade and rose to prominence within the UK, Lewis Hamilton. Lewis Hamilton is one of the most successful Formula One drivers of all time. Born in England to a father of Grenadian descent, Hamilton began his racing career at a young age, winning numerous karting championships before moving up to car racing and eventually joining the McLaren Formula One team in 2007. Hamilton quickly established himself as a top driver, winning his first world championship just a year later in 2008 at the age of 23. He has since won seven world championships, tying him with Michael Schumacher for the most wins in Formula One history. Hamilton is also the all-time record holder for pole positions and has won numerous Grand Prix races, including the prestigious Monaco Grand Prix. Off the track, Hamilton is known for his activism and philanthropy. He has been a vocal advocate for environmental issues and social justice and has used his platform as a world-famous athlete to raise awareness about these causes. Hamilton is also a successful entrepreneur with his clothing line and partnerships with various high-profile brands. And at number four, we have a lawyer, civil rights activist, and politician who served as the chair of the Democratic National Committee from 2017 to 2021, Tom Perez. Perez has a connection to the Caribbean through both of his parents who immigrated from the Dominican Republic. 
Perez was a promising youth and after graduating from Brown University, went on to earn a law degree from Harvard Law School. He began his career as a civil rights attorney, working for the U.S. Department of Justice's Civil Rights Division and later serving as the Secretary of Labor under President Barack Obama. As the Secretary of Labor, Perez was known for his advocacy for workers' rights, including efforts to raise the minimum wage and strengthen workplace protections. After leaving the Obama administration, he was elected as the chair of the Democratic National Committee in 2017. During his tenure, Perez focused on rebuilding the party's infrastructure and winning elections at all levels of government. Perez became widely known as a progressive leader of the Democratic Party and his commitment to grassroots organizing and community outreach. In the coveted number three slot, we have Emilio Estefan, a Cuban-American musician, producer, and entrepreneur who has had a significant impact on the music industry. In the 1970s, he founded the Miami Sound Machine with his wife, Gloria Estefan, and together became one of the most successful Latin music groups of all time. Throughout his career, Estefan has produced and collaborated with some of the biggest names in music, including Shakira, Ricky Martin, and Jennifer Lopez. He is known for his innovative production techniques, which blend elements of Latin, pop, and dance music to create a unique sound that has captivated audiences around the world. In addition to his music career, Estefan is also a successful entrepreneur and philanthropist. He has founded multiple businesses, including a music production company, a restaurant chain, and hotels. He is also involved in numerous charitable organizations and has been recognized for his contributions to the arts and the Latin community. With his many talents and accomplishments, Emilio Estefan is a true icon of the music industry and a source of inspiration for generations to come. At number two, we highlight a name that has become synonymous with education, science, and astronomy. A man who is known for his ability to make complex scientific concepts accessible to the general public, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Neil deGrasse Tyson has connections to the Caribbean through his mother, Sonchita Maria Tyson, who was of Puerto Rican descent. Tyson's career in science communication began in the late 1980s, when he began giving public lectures on astronomy and astrophysics. He later became the director of the Hayden Planetarium in New York City and a frequent guest on television shows and podcasts, where he has become known for his engaging and entertaining approach to science. Throughout his career, Tyson has been a passionate advocate for scientific literacy and for increasing public awareness of the importance of science in our daily lives. He has written numerous books to this effect and has hosted a variety of television programs, including the reboot of Carl Sagan's Cosmos, A Personal Voyage. He has also served on various government panels and advisory committees, including the NASA Advisory Council and the Commission on the Future of the United States Aerospace Industry. With this commitment, enthusiasm, humor, and deep knowledge of the universe, Tyson has become one of the most beloved and recognizable figures in science and communication today. Finally, in the number one spot, we have one of the most influential persons in American music and a man that was at the forefront of the civil rights movement, Harry Belafonte. Belafonte is a prolific Jamaican-American singer, actor, and social activist, born in Harlem, New York in 1927. He was the son of Jamaican immigrants and grew up in poverty in Harlem during the Great Depression. Belafonte served in the U.S. Navy during World War II before pursuing a career in the arts. He began his career as a singer in the 1950s and quickly became known for his distinctive voice and his blending of various musical genres, including Caribbean folk, calypso, and American pop. Belafonte used his platform as a performer to become a prominent civil rights activist. He was a close friend of Martin Luther King Jr. and was involved in numerous civil rights campaigns, including the Freedom Rides and the March on Washington. Throughout his career, Belafonte received numerous awards and honors, including the National Medal of Arts and the Kennedy Center Honors. He also received a Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award, and was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. This culture and history of the Caribbean have shaped a generation of people who may not have grown to experience it directly, but have through their mothers and fathers, aunts and uncles, grandmother and grandfather, and cousins. 
despite the many challenges and obstacles Caribbean immigrants face, they have persevered and succeeded in making their mark through their children and the shaping of their respective countries. People of Caribbean descent have indeed had a profound and enduring influence on countries around the world. From arts to politics, the cultural impact of the Caribbean can be felt in many aspects of our daily lives. The region's diverse population, shaped by centuries of colonialism, has produced a vibrant cultural legacy that continues to captivate and inspire people around the world. Check out this video on 10 of the most powerful and influential Caribbean women in the diaspora, globally. We know we did not cover everyone who deserves to be on this list, so why not let us know in the comment section below who should be added and why. We always love and consider your feedback for future presentations. As always, we would like to thank you for watching and remind you to please like, subscribe, share our channel with others, and turn on the notification bell for our next video as we explore the Caribbean together. This is Jiry Caribbean.